for the three cases, four cases before the board this evening. 65 Longfellow. Mm -hmm. 41 Lewis Street. 15 Longfellow. Okay. Well, let me first start by saying this. Um, we will open up each of the hearings this evening. Uh, we only have four members present, uh, which we you may have heard is over talking over the situation that we have. Four members, it's required for four members to vote in the affirmative for you to get a positive result from your request. Um, because we only have four members, you have the option of waiting until we get a fifth member. Uh, our earliest time, Kristen, would be when? Um, Not until October, October, yeah. Unless we held the second meeting in September. Uh, <coughs> September 5th is booked for the ZBA, for the 40B, and then there's a we holiday. <coughs> right, we have a meeting the 15th, right? Yeah, August 15th. Right. No. Deadline has passed. August 15th, we do. Deadline has passed. I saw something advertised in the paper. Yes, how many are on that date? One. Okay. So, so we have August the 15th open. So yeah. I will open each of the hearings. I will give you the opportunity of whether they, you want to proceed with four members this evening. You would have to get unanimous uh, positive feedback. Um, or you can move on to the 15th. Um, of August, which is an open date. There's one other hearing that has already been posted for that particular date. So I will start one at a time, and I'll give you that option, and I'll ask you what you would prefer to do. Gives you a little bit of time to think about what you want to do. Okay, first hearing is a continuation. This was even the Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a continuation of public hearing in the Catherine's meeting room at Town Hall 16 Wall Street, Reading, Mass. on Wednesday, August the 1st, 2018 at 7 p.m. on the application of Mary O'Connor pursuant to Mass General Laws Section 40A, um, Section 9, or special permit under Reading Zoning Bylaws Section 7.0, 7.3, 7.32, and also pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 40A, Section 10 under section 4.5 and 6.3 or a variance to construct a two-story addition to a non-existing non-conforming dwelling that exceeds 25 percent allowed lot coverage on the property located at 41 lewis street now that i've said that we only have three members present this evening for your case mr redfern was not here that night so that leaves only three of us we could not continue with three members because we would be shortchanging you. We can't do it. Chapter 40A is very specific about that. We're not going for the variance. We can't give you anything. Okay. Um, Why is that? Because we only have three voting members. For, for a variance, you need a minimum. Yeah, we're not going for the well, variance. Right. We're requesting a special permit. Yes, yes. and you, you still need you still need a unanimous for okay. a special permit. I think you need uh, three votes for a special permit. Three I don't five. think so. Okay. I think 48 is very specific about that too. Uh -huh. Can we double check that? Yep. Because I think the variance has gone away. It has. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. And if that's the case, what you heard the first night, was that a variance? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that was. So if it's just a special permit tonight, I could vote on that then, I suppose. Mm -hmm. 4.49 says special permits require at least four members. 
but I think they still but asked for the special yeah. permit last time. Can we, right? can we look at it like it's, it's something new now? It's just starting off with like the, uh, the variance is gone, and now it's only asking for a special permit. So there's four members here. What'd you say? Do they have to withdraw the variance? Um, we made quite an effort to get ready for this. Meeting. In one way, it's a, it's a brand new plot plan. It's been right. redone. What we talked about the last time was kind of overcome by new documentation. Were they asking for the special permit? It doesn't require. They're asking for either or at the... Did you sit the initial hearing? No, I, mi I missed June, June 20th. Right, okay. Which is, I believe, that was the initial hearing, right? Right. Okay. At the time, um, we were asked to do it at 27 percent. We brought it to 25. So the variance would go away. You said you would unanimously vote for the special permit already, but you had to get to that. So that's where we're at. You took away that. Well, I don't. Th I don't think the board ever said that we would vote in favor of a special permit if it you go back said. to 25 percent. Yeah, it did. It was said that day. That night. Unless it takes a vote, it, it doesn't mean any. Well, I understand, but but uh, that 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 was stated that night. If if we went back and got twenty five, went below the, the twenty five percent, you saw no problem with a, a special permit because the house was at the existing condition, and so that's what we did. And spent the time. And well, yeah, but the problem is the four voting well, members, not the special permit. Excuse me. The problem is having four voting members, not the special permit aspect. We just. To what, the, what, what the applicant is asking is if we not continue not consider this a continuation but just a request for us uh, so I think if that's the case permit. John then what they would need to do is formally withdraw their request for a variance right mm -hmm. and then say go ahead well, with the special permit and okay. then it may be we thought that's what this was but then again, once we get into the special permit, I don't know what information we're going to find after looking at the right. building inspectors right. memorandum. Well, I was just going to say, the first thing I was going to do was, uh, because we opened the continuance regardless, um, as part of this we always read what the recommendations are from the building inspector. Um, under this section, uh, Wrote this proposal is to add a two story addition of Barclay 499 by 4611 to an existing non conforming dwelling on a non conforming lot. A special permit of the 7.0, 7.3, 7.32 is required. A variance for six from 63 for the lot coverage that exceeds 25% is also required. I know you said that you removed that. Decks are considered for a lot coverage requirement. The stairs are exempt from the setback. The recent plot plan dated July 24, 2018 is not to scale, is not stamped, and is difficult to read. I would question the lot coverage of the proposal. The, the, we submitted the scale drawings of the, the stamp. Right. What I met with Glenn just happened to be what I was able to produce on out of the printing from the email, but we do have the we do have stamped copies of the site from Kevin Kiernan, the surveyor, and, and including wet copies yeah. that show uh, the, a standard box size of the stone for large one that Well, the concern that I have is this uh, was written today. Uh, Glenn wrote uh, that particular statement that I just read into the record on 8-1 of 2018, which is today. We submitted so, these prior. I'm not sure why you wouldn't have been able to. 24th, yeah. Or the 25th. So 25th. We, we supplied them at the correct scale. So we have the 25th here. Yeah. 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 Glenn had put it on in his, the mm -hmm. 24th, but yeah, I don't know why he dated it. I don't know why he didn't recognize this document. I really don't know why he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I showed him a, yep. a scale of size, not to stuff, but I said, yeah. so no, it wasn't scale. But we had submitted the scale. Yeah. Because when you sent an email out the other day, I pointed out to you that what I had was not a certified plot plan, and now we have it. And okay. I think that's what Glenn was, he was looking, looking at. at this. He was looking yeah. at the old one. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why he didn't. Yeah, I don't know that as a big one. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. Well, um, my, my view of the thing, John, is that in regards to what we had discussed in a prior meeting, what we've got here is a totally new plot plan for this proposal. Right. And I don't think it's relevant, or it, I don't think it's relevant that what might have gone on in the prior meeting impacts what we're reviewing tonight because it's it's new. Mm -hmm. It's not what we had before. So I don't personally, this board member doesn't have a problem with addressing this subject tonight and listening to the petitioner presenting okay. their request for a special permit. And maybe they should withdraw their request for well, they'd have to. for a variance. Yeah. All right. Uh, because that's been negated. The, what this does is it takes the deck off. <laughs> off the but the deck's gone. Okay. Okay. So they're under the well, let's, 25. Let's, so. let's discuss well, that I don't know. a bit. That's my opinion. First thing, first thing I want to do is, what is your take on this? Uh, yeah, I would be happy to look at it. As I say, if we're going to negate the plan that was presented at the first meeting on the 20th, that is, that's fine with me, and we can start anew with this new plan if that's the case. Okay. I have no problems with that. Okay. Nick? Uh, I think the advertisement is sufficient to be considered acceptable under the PCO open meeting law, so I would be okay looking at this with these four members tonight. Okay. Then we'll move forward. Yeah, yes, yeah. Then we'll move forward on that. Um, the first request that I would have is for the applicant to formally. Um, uh, uh, so put that because if they do, if we find that they do need a variance, then they would have to re-advertise the withdrawal. Whereas now, let's, I would say let's go through and at the end they can withdraw their variance request. How's that? Okay. And, and the only reason I say that is I, I see your email to the town in regards to your lot coverage, and you note in your email that's uh, what dated July 10th that uh, you have a total house and garage coverage of 2,271 square feet, 2,271. Now I see on your plan you have two square feet more, 2,273. Now with 2,271 you noted that this puts the lot coverage at 25.2%. So you are over 25%. That requires a variance. And it's not whether there's an understanding that it's close enough to 25%. It isn't. It's black and white. Right. It's over 25%. At period. Point, we were still waiting for Kevin to come back. We were obviously the, it, the surveyor it was the one to determine. And when there was kind of pushing mm -hmm. back and forth, we double checked over and over to make sure that. So the drawings that we submitted, and I actually took a copy of that, and that, I think it was also submitted to the board, um, that he confirmed that we were actually under the 25%. I mean, I'm not a surveyor, so I didn't. I did my best knowledge to get to to say to Kevin, "Are we on board here? Is this working?" Mm -hmm. And when any feedback that he can, because then when the drawings were actually submitted, that is what Kevin based it on. And there was a little bit of a delay in submitting just because we were rushing to get. Okay. The plan. No, it's easy, easy enough to check here. Do you have a calculator with you, Andrew? Um, yes, I do. Yes, you do. Uh, you want to check the uh, lot coverage here on this? It says the proposed footprint is 2273. Right. Garage and house. Do we know the lot? And the lot area is 8986. Eight, Eight, 
25 if I round up 0.3%. How much is it? 25.3. 25.3. You don't, we don't round it here. I'm not, I didn't see yeah. any plans rounded. That was, that was the surveyor I left it to. Well. <laughs> so, so right now. 25.3. As it stands, with the, this plot plan submitted tonight, they do need a variance. Mm -hmm. well, it said we didn't. Who said you didn't? Glenn. Well, so I talked to Glenn personally yesterday, and he said he never said that at all. Right, and he even I, said and I don't see in his memo that he said that. He said it's possible you need a variance. We don't round here. It's 25, actually, we just did the calculation. It's 25.3%. And that's over 25% lot coverage. You need a variance. Unless you can cut 0.3%, which it seems like it's we a minimal amount. Would, you you, you should be able to maybe do right. that. If you had come back to us and said we're at 25.3, we would have reduced because it's well. Totally <laughs> so, sounds like you have an issue with your survey on that. So that's, you know, that's, that's all I can say right now. That's why I was a bit hesitant to rush into it and say, let them withdraw their variance, because mm -hmm. rather than have to re-advertise again, they, in fact, may need a variance, unless they want to go back and redo their plan again and get it down to the exact amount. Well, we talked about this uh, on the 20th mm -hmm. for about a little over an hour on the value of the variance versus the special permit, um, what you're asking for to accomplish, and uh, the amount of room that we looked at at the garage, and if you needed all of that area in the garage, which was a, seemed to be the pinnacle of the, the discussion. Um, and it was continued so that you could go back and look at your options. And it appears that this evening it's still yeah. Over the 25 percent, and I think the board that night, even the member that is not here uh, this evening, um, I think you read the board quite correctly. The variance was not something that the board really wanted to address, feeling that you did not meet the criteria, but never took the vote. The intention was, how can you go back and modify that? So that when you do come back, you're going to be under the 25 percent. It could be 24.99, and it still would be fine. But once you move over that 25 percent in the area, in certain areas of the town, uh, a percentage number over it is bigger than other areas of the town where you have much larger lots as an S20, and we're talking about uh, substantially more area to. Uh, take care of this, the first criteria here is the biggest stumbling block, and that's what we cool. talked about the last time around. So, um, right, we, I would have readjusted it, it's literally about four inches. Uh, uh, and actually, well, we create a diagram that, so I, but I think the point is, it's going back to, when, when we trusted them when the survey said 25%, that it was 25%. And the problem with us this evening, too, is that we have to go from these plans that are submitted, and that's over. So if you're if you're forcing us to make the decision, or you're asking us to make the decision tonight, um, I think you might come up short. I really suggest, since we cannot stamp a set of plans that is not explicit about what you're requesting. Uh, unless the values are there, and right now we're 20, 25.3%, 0.3% is not going to, I'm speaking just for myself, 25.3% is not going to cut it there. So in special permit, special permit is no good without the 0.3% variance. So, I'd almost tell you, you you would, I'm not suggesting that you do, we, you can tell us how you want us to proceed, but um, waiting, I, 
not in favor of that, but I mean, I'm sure that you're not in favor of that, but uh, waiting another two weeks to come back on the 15th and get this corrected so that it reads properly, um, and Glenn gives you a clean bill of health, we're going to do the same calculations all over again. So you tell us how you would like us to proceed. Well, I think it's fair to say we definitely do, we're not seeking a variance. We, we have no interest in seeking a variance. We're definitely interested in the special permit. Um, there is no question in my mind that bringing it down to 0.3% or 0.4%, that, that's it's a little to be, on the, to be on the safe side, I'd well, get it. Of course it. we would. Right. Yeah. Of course. And that was the intention to come here tonight. We were not looking to gain an extra four inches. We, we would have never. But unfortunately, it, it, uh, the calculations that we brought to our attention that were actually over the 25, and there was an error in the site plan that we were to build building four inches. It's literally that, that tight. I mean, we would have eliminating works to get the plans where we needed it to be. That was our goal. We left it. I'm not trying to, to manipulate it. We were hoping to just settle it. But I think it sounds like you're saying tonight, we can't possibly consider this under an assumption. Well, of course, they'll come back with a reduced plan or we'll give you the special permit. I understand you can't do that. So it sounds to me like what we need to do is take a continuance, reduce the footprint, have Kevin Kiernan confirm the numbers and get the accurate typo. However that happened, because it certainly wasn't our intent to come in and try that. Well, the plans, the plans would have to indicate that you're under 25%. Right. And right now, according to the calculations, well, does, this is not unique. The book does this all the time. Right. So um, even if they're somewhere along the line that got missed, it would have got probably picked up by the board anyways. All right. That's why there's five of us here. Right. It, it, it looks to me, just doing a quick calculation here, 25% of the lot area is what you have to get down to. Yes. And I have 2,246.67 feet is 25%. So you could go 2246 or something to that effect. But less than that. Right. Either that or less, and you would be all right. The other thing I would like to see on your plan is offsets to the side yard setbacks. Absolutely. Now I see on your, uh, what would it be, easterly side, up at the backyard corner, I see a 15.1. Right? Yes. Okay, and then halfway down I see a 15.0. Yes. And then I see nothing at the front corner. That would indicate to me that it is not exactly parallel to the property line, and at the front corner it would be something like 14.9 feet. I would like to see the front corners with offset lines. All corners of the structure should have the offsets to the side yard and also to the front yard, so we see with that. The front yard doesn't look like it's an issue since we have, what, 26.5 feet there, and what's required is 20 feet, so you're well within yes. the boundaries of that. But uh, I would like to see the corners of the main structure to the sidelines there. It, it, that easterly front corner looked to me like it might be a little less than 15 feet. So you can have your survey and check that out. And as you said, similarly, the western side, you only have one setback in the middle. Right. And that's 13.4. But if it's skewed at the... Right. If it's skewed, it would be less at the front. Right. It would be 13.3 or something, it could be. And that's, I think, what Glenn was talking about when he made his comments. Right. He said to us today. And actually, what is... Actually, what I'm seeing... The, I mean, the plans plans could be. It, it looks like you're actually over over with the existing three season porches there, but I could be mistaken you're because you're, you're, you're yeah you're, you're seeing what the plan is. Uh, let's see what was the existing on that three season porch. Yeah, actually, it says here on the original plot plan thirteen point four. Four? No. No, yeah. 
Okay. So that's no, that's the original. Yeah, we borrowed ten. Yeah, was to match the existing. Exactly. We, we went off of that. Yeah. Um, obviously, we can request it come back. Yeah. Add those offsets. In yeah. So we need we need to know what the offset is in that corner on the westerly side of the existing three season porch and also what the offset is to the westerly sideline on the proposed structure. Is that actually talked about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We deliberately shifted it away and making our reduction we sure. allow as much as we could on that side. Yeah. Well. And what you're saying is now that, and then that structure at the rear, uh, I see, you know, on the original plan, it's called a deck. Now you... Right, all the decking has been removed. It's, it's just a landing and, and stairways and... Uh, Again, you should go over these with the building inspector. We did yesterday. Okay. Why, why didn't you tell us yesterday? We could have had this already. I, I don't know why. Why, why didn't you meet with the building inspector? Yeah. We can't speak for the building inspector. Oh, why? Really, I mean, you're meeting with the building inspector to get these so they're right to come to the board, and they're wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could have had that all done for tonight. This has been going on each months. 18 months. I'm like, it's at it. <laughs> well, it hasn't been before this board 18 months. So. No, but with the building inspector back and forth 18 months well. and, the, and the department. It's been going on forever. Well, it okay. sounds so, like you're two weeks away. <laughs> yeah, but then months. if we don't get the people to show up at the board, then we don't have anybody to vote again. I mean, can you guarantee those people are going to show up? No guarantees in life. Uh, we, we we can't guarantee, but you know, people this is, will be notified. This is a rare. This is a rarity. It's just very frustrating, I have to say. This is a rare. I'm going to tell you, this is a rarity that we don't have sufficient members on the board. Well, this is the second time. <laughs> Two times. Yeah. <laughs> last last time and this time. Yes, we had one person who did not re up. We had the uh, board of selectmen has to. We have a five-member board with two associates. At the time that you came in, we had uh, three members left and two associates. We now have a full board of five, but we don't have, um, only have one associate one whose associate. first meeting would have been this evening. Yeah, and he's missing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's rare that this happens this way. Never had a problem like this. So not that I mean that's any consolation to you because I it's just wish Glenn would have told us because we could have these plans ready for today. That's all I wish. But that didn't happen. Well Okay, well, 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 so uh, am I hearing that um, that you would like to continue the subject matter of this hearing until the fifteenth of August on um, this room? It's seven o'clock. Okay, you're making that request. Yes. We're here. An acceptance of that request. We have to. We have the space. Yeah. Just one more comment before we do that. Yeah. yeah. I think that looking at the previous plot plan and looking at this current plot plan, I think there's a calculation error. I think there's a typo. Of type some kind. Somewhere, uh, huh? On the plot plans, where's that side? Huh? I'm talking about the coverage. The coverage of the of the structure vis-a-vis -vis the total size total of the property. property. Uh, I, let me just point it out. Previously, on the previous plot plan, it said the new house and garage footprint was 2337. Ooh. And the deck was 114. Mm -hmm. Okay? You take that and you subtract the deck out. That's two... Two, two, three. This says two, two, seven, three. It's gone up by fifty square feet somewhere. Mm-hmm. I, I, okay. So that's either a, a 
on this type on the plot plan or else there's something I don't I think they made some adjustments to the to the main structure mm -hmm. yeah, well, too. they did and, uh, from what I hear and whether yeah. they went up with that adjustment or down with that adjustment I don't know regardless we're so. taking an expert who certified Nice surveyor. Right. Understand. And he's doing the calculations he signed for. That's what we have to yeah, go by. I so agree with you, but it's, it's just unfortunate. Right. Either the previous one was wrong or this one's wrong. Okay. So I'll take a motion to uh, continue the supplemental this hearing. August 15th. 15th is 7th? Yeah. You're so moved. We have a second. 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 All in favor? None. So we'll see you. Okay. Second hearing before the board this evening. Um, zoning board of appeals will hold public hearing in the Fleckman meeting room at Town Hall, 16 Wall Street, Reading, Mass, on Wednesday, August 1st, 2018, at 7 p.m. on the application of Michael Welch, pursuant to ML, MGL Chapter 40A, Section 9, for special permit under the Reading Bylaw, Section 7.3 and 7.32 to demolish the existing non-conforming dwelling on the non-conforming lot and to construct a new single-family dwelling will require variances pursuant to Mass General Law Section 10 under the Reading Zoning Bylaw Section 6.3 on the property located at 65 Longfellow Road, Reading, Massachusetts. Unless there's an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that abutters were notified, as were the following. Board of Selectmen, Police Department, Building Department, Health Department, Engineering Division, Town Clerk, Fire Department, Conservation Commission, Assessor's Office, CPDC, and members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the planning boards of Wakefield, North Reading, Woburn, Linfield, Stone, and Wilmington. Testimony given before this board is taken under oath, so if you think you may wish to speak, please stand and raise your right hand. It does not hurt if you want to speak at all. Uh, I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The response is, I do. I do. Um, well. Who has the floor here? <laughs> the applicant. Uh, who's the applicant? But I'm the applicant. Okay. Okay. Um, so we bought this house about a year and a half, two years ago, as a foreclosure from somebody that bought it in foreclosure. Um, with thoughts of possibly remodeling it, then we went into it. It was just nothing that remodeled or um, that would make sense. So we met with the building inspector and went through, and he started. Um, 
mimicking the existing footprint and going right out with it to avoid any kind of special permits or vari variances. And then through that process, he realized the portion of the house or something might have been more well, sure exactly what piece we built without a permit. The whole plan and everything we had done was, um, we were all we were done we were signing permit applications and everything to, to build right on the existing footprint. Yeah, we couldn't do it at the end of the day. So now we're here to do a special permit. So what we did was we uh, squid off the house to make it a little more, um, uh, to make it extremely more by the square, typical 22, 32, 22 foot, 32 foot box, smaller, 1,500, 1,600 square foot colonial, um, fits with the neighborhood. None of our side yard setbacks are increased. Um, obviously it's a very small lot. That's about it. Um, this is not my forte. I'm not the speaker typically. Somebody does it. Okay. Books, so. Well, um, again, uh, I'll read the uh, report by the building inspector. Uh, the proposal is to demolish the existing non conforming dwelling on the non conforming lot and propose to construct a new single family dwelling is hereby denied. The existing dwelling is about 652 square feet and the proposal is approximately 784 square feet. A portion of the existing dwelling to the rear is of a different type of construction than the main dwelling, indicating that this portion is an add-on. The building files for this property do not indicate any permits for this, these portions of the structure being issued. It appears to me that the portion of the dwelling that has been added on without obtaining the proper permit. It is my opinion that a variance under section 6.3 table dimensional controls to construct a new single family has shown, as shown on the, on the proposed plot plans required uh, for a new dwelling. And the request for the variances uh, are lot coverage, 25% again, uh, frontage on an accepted way, and setback requirements, front, rear, uh, front, rear, and side yards. So what has been added here um, is that he believes that the, there's several variances that need to be um, required here too. Uh, he does go on to say possible Possibly a special permit from section 7.3.2 may be obtained from the Zoning Board of Appeals. And he goes through what 7.3, 7.31, and 7.32 state and gives you the options. I will go forego the reading because he's already done that with you. Um, normally what we do is we go around the table and we'll, we'll hear questions that the board um, as for the applicant, any questions they see from the plans that were issued. I do have to tell you before we get started uh, that I did some work on this myself uh, with the engineering department. Um, and you have a very unique, I guess is the best word I could use, uh, parcel. It's very small. Um, I did go up and inspect the site this afternoon. And I found the same thing that the building inspector found, that the two back portions of the screen porches that were added were on cinder block and totally different construction than the regular house. Um, so they, therefore, he's saying, I believe, that the actual square footage of the house is much less than what is defined on, uh, on your plans that we submitted. But I'll, I'll say that. There's several other unique qualities. Um, one is um, the supply of water, where you're getting your water from, and where the sewerage is, and that's on Longfellow Drive, on a non-easement um, through somebody else's property. Um, and the fact that uh, your entrance is on Longfellow, but you don't have any access through Longfellow, that you would have to come back up to the driveway of the school, Rule that says, I was up there to where it says, do not enter. <laughs> yeah. Residence there is not during. Slash residence only. I know. Yeah, I think that works yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that too when I first. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I think that um, 
you have a very unique parcel here. Um, but I'm going to mm. go around the board and see what uh, comments that they might have or questions that they may have for you. Uh, keep in mind, Joy, it could, could and, and, and I have to tell you this, as I said that I would, and you only have four members here. You do not have to, we do not have to move on this this evening. If you think you need all five members, that means that you have a buffer of one member who could say no and the other four would have to say yes. And you saw, you heard about variances from this board. Um, so you know that variances are very difficult. Well, that's the thing I just quickly wanted to bring up, John. When they read the advertisement, I don't believe this was advertised for a variance. No, it wasn't. Okay, it's advertised for a special permit, and if it's deemed that you need a variance, you have to re-advertise, I believe, because it wasn't advertised for the greater uh, exception. Uh, in situations like this, I think occasionally we have done this before because it goes out twice in the newspaper. But this is unique. I first have to ask you, what do you want to do? Do you want to proceed or would you prefer to have a five member board hear this, which would give you, again, we could move you to the 15th of August. Um, but if you move to the 15th of August, I would strongly suggest that you go back and do some work with the building inspector. And I saw a lot of stuff that needs to be, I mean, the, the application has got a lot of holes in it, I, I would say. Um, can I just comment on a couple things just talk about? Absolutely. So whether I tear this house down or build uh, or don't, there's still going to be a house there. Say we just, nothing happens. We fix up what's there and um, what we do what we have to do to get it habitable again. The driveway, uh, there is a uh, registered easement, a recorded easement for that road to the There is. Road. Yeah. So it's always going to be actually have the people here for that. So that's always going to be there. Um, if the sewer and water doesn't go through or goes through somebody's property in the wrong in the wrong place or something, there is an easement through um, the, the property behind, like an eight foot access and utility easement through um, the block behind us that abuts the block fell. So we would never use it for access, but if we had to use it for utilities, we could. Um, the engineering department indicated today that that seems to be a, a bit of a problem mm -hmm. because they can't. They can't access it if, if it needs either storage nor water uh, problems because it's an easement. But there is no easement written in any of the paperwork in any of the deeds, so it becomes a little bit of a problem. They would like to correct it so that it comes off of um, whatever that driveway is off of Longwood. That's what I heard from them today. But to do that, there's got to be something done here. Um, if you want, I mean, right now you have a number of options. One option is to, as I said, continue and see what you can get done. A second option is to go forward and let the four members of the board make a decision for you. Or the third option is to withdraw your, re your request at this particular time until you can get more information and come back. I'm not going to tell you which one I would suggest for you because that's not what we're here to do. I, I think I would start with continuing for sure because if I'm going to need a variance and what have you. The, the other th three variant situations weren't mentioned to us when we initially um, you started your process with the building inspector and you told us you know, you're going to need a special permit so that's what we filed for. So, uh, if we are going to a variance, is he the one that deems, is he the one governing body that um, tells us if we do or don't need a variance for a special permit? Or is there a this is the board. You are, you are, okay. But before we get to you, I mean, is it just the building inspector? With building the inspector can made? advise, building inspector can advise <coughs> you what is your best direction. Right. What, or perhaps what 
you might want to do to get to where you want to go. And to get to a special, to get to the special permit that you're asking for, you have to, in this case, um, it's going to look, it looks like right now that you're going to re be required to, to have multiple variances given, which is a lot. Um, I don't know what the amount of time is for you to go through this. I don't know how much time you spent, but um, if you go through the variance puzzle and you start that and the board says, no, we can't do that and shuts you down, you're automatically shut down for two years before you can come back. So you don't want to go that way until you really have your kind of ducks in a row, so to speak. Where I am choosing to um, postpone it, whatever. Uh, continue? Continue, yeah, sorry. Continue? Can, can we have the, um, can I still hear the comments from the neighbors if the concerns? Or uh, well, we've opened up the hearing, yeah, uh, so I, I can, I, I will first ask the board members if they have specific <coughs> comments or, or, we start with you, Nick? Yeah, yeah, sure, thanks. Uh, I have one question. Do you have a, a rough idea of when that addition was added to the home? No, we didn't even research it at all. Does it look older than 10 years? 100%. I thought of that, too. Okay. Is, it, is that a new rule of this year? Uh, as of 2016. Right, that's a state rule, right? Yeah, because this gentleman might have. Do you know when it was added? So, uh, right. it, yeah, so if it is older than 10 years, it would become a legal non conforming structure. Right. So, so how, legal, if it's a legal non conforming, yeah. Glenn's thing is that there was no permits issued, appears, no permits issues. <laughs> It's not a legal nonconformity. The way, the way I understand it, it's any anything that was built prior to now, you didn't get caught building it, you get it. You don't, if you don't get caught for 10 years, basically, is what the rule says. That's why, um, just because I think yeah, they're not going to bring any action in this. That's all. Um, I'm still continuing, but I'm just. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll bring that book when we get this. Right. So, mm -hmm. I, I would say it's at least 20 something. We'll open it up in the, the public in a bit. Hi, uh, Dan Edsminger, 6 Old Road Road, speaking as in the butter. Uh, we've lived in our house on Old Road Road since 1978. I can attest that that addition was there when our house was built in 1978. So, mm -hmm. been there for a long time. I show, I show from the plans that one of the additions showed up after 1986, and the others did not show up, going all the way back to, um, but I, you know, I just did a cursory, I didn't spend uh, a long time on this. I think that we'd have to go back and look at that. That's why the continuous would be appropriate in my mind. Well, uh, you know, uh, I, I think it's pretty straightforward. You, you look at these plans and everything, and I, I would believe if, if he's proposing what this plan was submitted tonight, a proposed dwelling versus the existing dwelling, you are going to need a variance for frontage, you're going to need a variance for side yard setbacks, you're going to need a variance for lot uh, coverage, you're going to need a variance for an undersized lot. You, you're going to need numerous variances unless you just take that existing dwelling and work that existing footprint period and then I, I think if he does that if the if just the existing footprint is worked I believe he may even not need to come before the board he could well, bypass he could that, bypass. that's exactly where we started and then like we we're just talking about that back addition came up that it was never permanent so I actually have a complete set of plans for the existing footprint all done so, mm -hmm. Well, I'd love to do that. That'd be great. So, uh, if that is the fact, so. Yeah, well, if that's the case. And, and as Glenn noted, too, he may be uncomfortable issuing a building permit for that, and he may come back and say, you need a special permit from the board because you are extending maybe an offset or something to, well, to that effect. It's any extension. Any, any extension, right. But yet you're not increasing any offsets. So you 
extending it further. But, but it, it, it appears to me I, it, there's at least four, maybe five variants that's required here at this particular thing. A variance for frontage, a variance. He has a good frontage on a public street. It's undersized. Well, the town took care of that. Side. Well, I don't know. How did the town take care of that? Well, when they took my eminent domain, the area on that lot, and gave back in 1953 the high school. a little yes a little piece of it to make the lot conforming on the one side which is the rear of the property mm -hmm. uh, that took care of part of it but didn't take care of all of it so we still didn't have access to it and the access was created off of the right. heater road from the exiting from the parking lot well that ain't good. I mean that's what I said it's very unique mm -hmm. so I think and, and I think we need arguments. If you're going to be here before us for a variance, we're going to need arguments for your variance. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Chapter 40A, mm -hmm. you will find the arguments that need to be addressed I think it's for a variance. Section six and section eight. Section eight. You can get it at the at the yeah, planning the department. Yeah. Said this is and and typically, it's the first criteria that is very, very difficult to get, which is you need this because of some uniqueness of that lot due to topography, geological uh, abnormalities of that lot, or something to that effect. And just because the lot is small does not create a uniqueness for criteria one. <laughs> I, when I read, when I looked through this thing, I, I, I said to myself, "This is a very strange one. Probably the strangest one I've looked at since I've been on this board." Uh, but it, you know, the existing structure basically violates all setbacks and lot coverage. And it appeared to me that what the new structure was going to do was basically flip about 90 degrees mm -hmm. from the one that was there before. So if you look at what the offsets, what the setbacks were before vis-a-vis -vis what they would be now with a 90 degree offset, some of them don't change. Uh, but the increase in lot coverage is huge. It's really huge. And that's a really tough one to deal with, I think. As far as the addition done without a permit, it sounds like it goes way back. And frankly, uh, I, we can talk, argue about how it got done, why it got done, and what do you do about it. I don't think there's anything you can do about it. It's, it is done. It's a done deal. And, and uh, so you, you look at what you're putting there vis-a-vis -vis what's there now. That's the way I would review this case going forward, okay? But the lot size doesn't leave you very much room to do anything with that property. And so that's a real challenge for you. It really is a big challenge for you. It really is. But uh, this needs to be a, needs a serious update. Well, then you know what the three options are. I think you, uh, you're you requesting that we continue the subject matter of this hearing. Okay. But we want to you want to take any, before we actually do that, any community input? Did, um, so, do I have anybody who got sworn in? Dan? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, again, Dan Anderson here at 6 Oakland Road. Uh, I rise to support this project concept. Uh, what's there now is certainly a detriment to the neighborhood. I knew the neighbor well. Uh, she passed about four years ago. That property has flipped a couple of times. It was in foreclosure and then flipped twice. Uh, I've actually, uh, well, part of my concern here, and I'll pass these pictures around, uh, John, you saw this up close and personal today. Uh, that's a picture of the exterior of the side in front of the house. It has been exposed to weather, and I know kids have been in there doing whatever. Uh, so there could potentially be infestations of rodents. And what I would ask the board to do is to place a condition on whatever permit you grant, if it's a special permit, that the uh, health agent make a pre-demolition survey of the property and make sure there's no problems and do whatever mitigation has to happen. So other than that, uh, I think I speak for my wife, certainly, and all of my neighbors speak for themselves, although they're not sworn in, I guess they can't. Oh, 
you are. Hi, I'm Katia, and I live in 627 Longfellow. So this property is right behind me. And I would love to see it demolished because it's just sitting there and we've had trouble with high school kids and we've had to call the police and we've families of bunnies and woodchucks and lots of stuff running around now and there's a hawk that's having a really good time raising young because of all the stuff that might be around there. But my only two concerns are this uh, structure is on a slab. So my concern is what will that do to me since I'm down below to the water table. I, I'm in a house that's I think built in 1920. It's 98 years old. I'm concerned about getting water in my basement if that's we're going to have an issue with that. The other concern, of course, I, um, I had spoken with Mr. Welsh last year, is just how tall this structure will be because then I'll be in shade. My property will be completely in shade for a good, you know, a good portion of the day. So those are my two issues that I'm concerned of. But, you know, from my perspective, I go off my deck and I look up and I see, you know, broken window and, you know, the yard all dug up and, and all. So it would be good to see something else there. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Hearing none, close the subject matter of this public hearing. And then I'll return to the applicant asking him. I request to continue on the 15th. Okay, do we hear a motion to accept for the 15th? So moved. And a second. You need to know that I'm not here on the 15th, so you better get the other two people there. Remember, you changed, you changed the order to be because I wasn't going to be. Okay? So you better make darn sure you got the other two guys here. <laughs> yeah, that should be determined very quickly. Okay? We will need to watch the video. Will they need to watch the video? Yes. They could do that. Yes, they could do that. Yeah. Both of them will have to know. They have to be here. Yeah. I'll be here. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here. Just, yeah. <laughs> this is a three now, so we need two more seats. <laughs> um, so we need the two that are out tonight. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, does, does this need to be re this, was advertised for a permit. Does this need to be re-advertised? Or do we just move forward with a continuance? Uh, we've opened it up. Uh, we've accepted what's here. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Kim. I think it'd be easy enough to put uh, something in the paper for one week because we've already opened it up. So we have to tie some both. Oh, both. Yes, yeah, both. Just in case. Mm -hmm. So just so I understand, Mr. Chairman, you're, you're suggesting that a second hearing be posted to discuss the various potential? Um, did, the various, of the did, did a various may be required? Okay. Yeah, because it's not in the notice we received. Correct. Right. And we posted, uh, posted on the, uh, the board out there, too. My question would be, can they get everything they need to get done done in two weeks? Well, I don't know that, that's but I mean, if that's the case, <coughs> you can always come in and extend the continuance. That's a short window. Yeah. Because uh, your next opening would be, if we have a second meeting in September. Ooh. Yeah, unless you did that, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, out of the three options, I thought that was my best option tonight. Well, it's only it's two weeks away. It doesn't give you a lot of time, uh, but at least I think you can get a start on it. If it doesn't, if it doesn't come pan out, you ask for another continuance, and you don't have to come in for that. You, you just have to put something in writing to bring continue. it into town hall, okay. and that they take care of it for you. Okay. That, that's it. So you have nothing to lose in that. Yep. Very okay. good. We have a motion on the floor and second. Any, any comment? Second. Second from the second. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. All in favor. Okay. Thank you very we'll much. See you. See you in two weeks. Ooh.
section is that 10 year rule. That's it. Okay. It's a pet. Nick has to pass it along. What it is. Sorry, it's taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> That's education. Section 7. Can I grab that from you, Seth? This here? Yes. Please. Thank you. This is the case they could do it by right or with a special permit. Really? Okay. Right? I would that, imagine because if it's a part of the not, not the increase in the lot coverage, so but if he builds it to the same footprint, oh, the same footprint which he yeah. wa wanted originally, so he could go that. That's kind of what I was thinking. Right. So I think that's pretty clear that that's he could do that. But I'll talk to Glenn about that. Uh, nice, all right. Yeah, I think it's more dangerous. Uh, I keep <laughs> this you correct right. me. Uh, I don't mind giving it back. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. If I can get a photocopy back at some point, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Next case is uh, case eighteen eleven. Actually, we have two cases from eighteen eleven and eighteen twelve. We weren't sure which way you were going to move, so we decided to do two separate hearings. <laughs> um, we could probably uh, we'll go forward. Eighteen eleven uh, zoning board of appeals will hold a public hearing in the second meeting room at town hall sixteen Wall Street, River Mass, on Wednesday, August the third. 2018 at 7 p.m. An application of Michael Crawford, pursuant to Master Laws Chapter 38, Section 10 of Variance under the Reading Bylaws Section 6.3, set in 7.4, as may be determined by the Zoning Board to remove an existing 10 by 16 non conforming garage and construct a new 12 by 26 two story living space in a non conforming side yard setback of the property located at 15 Longfellow Road, Reading Mass. Unless there is an objection, I will dispress with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters were notified um, as follows. Board Selectman, Police Department, Building Department, Health Department, Engineering Division, Town Clerk, Fire Department, Conservation, Assessor's Office, CPDC, members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the Board of Board of Planning Boards of Wakefield, North Reading, Woburn, Linfield, Stone, and Wilmington. Testimony given before this board is taken on the road. So if you may want to speak, please stand and raise your right hand. You never know if you want to make a comment. Or not. <laughs> I swear that the testimony given before me, uh, before this board, will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in response as I do. Okay. Uh, you have the floor. Hi, I'm the applicant, Michael Crocker, and my wife, Katie. Uh, we have been living at this property for the last 10 years. Uh, we've raised our three children there, uh, two of uh, our oldest daughters, and the Birch Meadow uh, Elementary School. Uh, the purpose for our application is to obtain some more living space with our growing family. And we enjoy the community so much and love the neighborhood and really want to stay in our house. Uh, we think that the option to build makes more sense for us. Uh, I started looking into the, the proposals. I did notice that we would uh, likely need a variance uh, depending on the size of the structure. Uh, our backyard is has multiple elevations and it's slanted. In order to build back there, 
for the variance. Yes. So you hit you hit the, the first criteria very well. Yep. So we have the second, third, and fourth criteria. Okay. Yep. The second. You did, you, did, you did reply to that on your application. <laughs> so. I did. The second one is that about a financial hardship, maybe with that. Yeah. I mean, to to grade the land in the back would be very costly. Um, that's why it seems much better option to just build where the garage sits now, um, which also sort of leads into questions three and four uh, from a detriment to the, to the general public from visual aspect from the street, building on top of where the garage sits now doesn't really change the structure that much. In our okay. I think one thing did give one letter in support. So I think we got another one tonight, too. Okay. Uh, one was in the packet, and I right. think one was in our packet tonight when we came, okay. so we actually two letters. Okay. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to read the uh, comments by the building inspector. Uh, on inspection, he has it on both 11 and 12. He said 11, 18-11. Uh, is a proposal to have two-story 12 by 26 additions on the right side of the existing non-conforming structure. This proposed setback is 4.79 feet, does not conform to the required setback of the 15 feet, as you already know, from section, and a variance from section 6.3 is required. Now, since we're going to be talking about both sides, I mean, you didn't open yet the one for the one thing. In uh, section 1812, the proposal is to add a two story addition 10 by 20 <coughs> to the right side of the existing non conforming structure. The proposed setback of 6.9 feet does not conform to the required setback of 15 feet. A special permit under section 7.3.2 is required. Um, and that's his comments. And um, as noted, um, I don't know if it, you, have, you have one of the letters there? Huh? Do you have one of the. I have that one that was on the okay. table today. Okay, one is uh, from Scott and uh, Heather Lee, um, who reside at uh, 43 Western Road. Yeah, that's right. Thanks to right. us. All right, next one. Right. Yeah, they're in the back. <laughs> and and there's there's one there, our side is their backyard. Our side. We're on the corner of West right. and Longfellow. Okay. Uh, and then they have one from 30 Longfellow, too, that was, uh, I think an email came in. Uh, okay. And that was from Gina and Kirk McCormick. Yeah. 30 Longfellow, uh, 30 Longfellow Road. Yeah. Uh, it is on the other side of the other side of Weston. Um, West it, yes. Heading towards yes. the high school. Yep. I didn't look at these two, but I did look at the property. Um, no. Okay. So um, I would ask um, 
Why don't we start with you, Sai? See what comments that you had or questions that you may have on the application. I like the way you approach this thing. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, I'd like to get the one that gives me a 12 foot wide garage, but if that fails, then I gave you all the information for a 10 foot wide <laughs> garage, okay? <laughs> Now, you made the comment that the, that the current garage really is not wide enough. Yeah. You want to amplify on that a little bit? It's, it's got a particular hardship with a 10-foot garage? Well, this is for living space. It wouldn't be a garage. Oh, it wouldn't be a garage? No, no. Oh, yeah. So I'm sorry. So it's not, oh. it's for hoping to, children. Oh, proposed addition. Oh, okay. okay. This, so what kind of a hardship does it really present to you to have to live with a 10-foot wide addition vis-a-vis -a, -vis a 12-foot wide addition? What kind of a hardship is it to you? The difference in, in square. The, the in the two well, I know that, but I mean... Yeah. Um, it just... I mean, I know, I know it doesn't sound, two feet doesn't sound a lot from, you know, from the street view. The two feet would probably be negligible and we would really be able to pick up where two feet were, but inside of a room, about 10 foot wide room by 12 foot, I think 12 is pretty standard for a new construction. So those two feet in, inside the house would, you feel the difference. It would make a big difference in our life. Yeah. Uh, I took a look at the property. I drove by it. You maybe know, saw me stop in front of the Dick Beak or something. <laughs> uh, there is a row of, I'd say, green foliage along the way there. It's not very high. Yes. Between your neighbors. Between our neighbors. Yeah, between you and the yes. neighbors. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. So, from the standpoint of going two feet that way direction, yeah. from the street, you probably never noticed the yeah, difference. Yeah. Okay. Right at the garage is, is a walk with a, a walkway and yeah. a couple feet of shrubbery in the neighbor's driveway. Yeah. And yeah. their house. So it's not like the, right the only yeah. part of the variance problem, the variance request I had was number two, which is the hardship issue. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, I've got the kind of mixed emotions about the, the magnitude of the hardship that you might be alluding to. So. I mean, I don't disagree with what you want to do. I think it's great, but uh, we'll see what the rest of the guys think about it. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah I, I, you know, for your variance, uh, looking at it, you, you have already a very, very limited side yard on uh, about his side there, and Obviously, we had a couple letters from our butters, but not from the key of butter, which is that. Would that help? She offered to to <laughs> I think I think it would help the board because the way I look at it is, <clears throat> many times if that butter that is impacted the most is not here, they may have concerns, but yet they do not want to start a. Uh, rift in the community, in the neighborhood, etc. So they, they kind of keep their peace. They, to keep the peace, they, they keep to themselves. And then it's up to the board that kind of speak for them, for the neighbors on you know, there. Uh, and to be honest with you, I find it difficult increasing that nonconformity by two feet when in fact you could get a special permit for the 10 foot, most likely. Uh, and like uh, uh, Sai said, it's, it's a hardship. I think criteria number one would, might be difficult, because I, I don't know, I know you're, you say your land does, and I, I took a look at your site. Uh, difficult to see from the street. I didn't want to go and walk in your backyard or anything. <laughs> but. You obviously have a retaining wall that slopes up there and set. I don't know if you could build in the back or not. If you could, uh, you know, like this addition that you have here for the, over the garage, if you turn that 90 degrees and attach that to the back and, and say, built your back wall out 12 feet by the width of your uh, house uh, on that. I don't know what that would entail uh, on that. So there, there may be other options. I, I 
think right now I would find it difficult to support a variance, but the special permit, uh, I could see possibly uh, if we heard, uh, you know, arguments on that. Nick? Nick? So I had a question. So you talked about the topography in question one, uh, having multiple elevation changes. Is that common in your neighborhood? Not really. It's uh, because of the neighbors right to the left of us is pretty flat to the right. Uh, Overall, oh, right. <laughs> I would say that. I mean, the road behind us, uh, the parking, I mean, that is more way more elevated than, like, no. than Longfellow. So, but. Okay, because I ask because if it is really unique to your parcel, um, that would give you more credence for the first question as opposed to, you know, a common hardship that the neighborhood would face. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I am finding it a little bit difficult because uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around the hardship, you know, especially when you ask this in a, another application uh, requesting a special permit. So I'm looking at the hardship more of um, more of a preference, um, if you want to put it that way, um, as opposed to if you don't get this, you you would actually be in a hardship. Um, so that that's all my have for comment. Okay. I looked at it also. Um, I when I. <coughs> Went up there. I did see that uh, the road starts to rise just to the uh, left as you're looking at the house, just to the left of yours, and it starts to go up. And I can see that your median abutter on the right hand side would be the one who would be most affected. Um, but you're already um, of the 15 feet, you've already claimed nine of it. Mm -hmm. uh, this would mean you claimed 11 of the 15 feet if we we're looking at a variance, which is very difficult. Um, a special permit is, is more capable of achieving. Now, I think you're going to ask the board of four to make either make a decision for you this evening or continue. I know you're not going to withdraw. The only thing you're going to withdraw possibly is uh, case number 18-11. Uh, uh, if you're satisfied with that. But are you comfortable with the four people sitting making the decision because you need unanimous decision? Can I ask if that two-year law applies if the four people deny it, or is there, I don't know, is there a fifth person that can lay the road, or how, are there any other options if the special permit <laughs> we we the should vary? Um, well, once the board rules one way or the other, there's no, re the likelihood of reconsideration is extremely rare. So where you would be right now would be taking the vote of the four, but it has to be unanimous. If there were five people sitting here, one person could uh, not be in favor um, of the special permit, for example. Okay. Um, but the other four are in favor of it, in which case it would still move forward, you would get the permit. Can I ask, would it make a difference if our neighbor, the Hammonds on that side, came? I could call them. They've been very supportive and well. I just... Um, see, now you're talking apples and oranges. Okay. Yeah, only because one is, one is the variance versus yeah. the other one oh. being a special permit. Yeah. So we'll take neighbors' comments into consideration, okay. but typically we, you know, we look at the law. We okay. what, what's required, and, and I think that's what we're talking with the variance. Yeah. So I think with that we would like to withdraw from the variance. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Well, yes. You let's ready. hit the other application first. Let's see what happens with the special permit. Mm -hmm. Then we can go back to this and. If it's <laughs> well, we were just thinking, of, you know, saving time and on the next meeting since you already have two people going. If yeah, no, we call our neighbor right now, would you be willing to drive down to speak on our behalf of the special permit? If that's helpful to you. Special permit is easier 
within the variance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but um, the intention was we need to open up. We've been talking uh, of two of them, although we're only considering one of them, which is the variance. So let me open up section 1812, uh, case number 1812. Um, we're going to go through the same process to do that. Uh, and then we have the two open at the same time, and then we can talk with the close the other. Um, yeah. So on the Board of Appeals, we'll hold a public hearing, the Clark Meeting Room, uh, Town Hall, uh, 16 Wall Street, Mass, Reading, Massachusetts, on Wednesday, August the 1st, 2018, at 7 p.m. on the application of Michael Parker, pursuant to Mass General Laws, Section 40A, Section 9, Chapter 48, Section 9, for a special permit <coughs> under the Reading Zoning Bylaws, Section 7.0, 7 7.32, and 730 and 7.32. As may be determined by the Zoning Board to remove an existing non conforming garage and construct a new 10 foot by 26 foot two story living space with a non conforming side yard setback on the property located at 15 Long Wood Road. Unless there is an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abiders list, except to say that the abiders were notified. Uh, notified, abiders were notified, as were the following boards, selection department, police department, building department, health department, engineering department, town court, fire department, conservation commission, assessor's office, and CPC. Members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the planning boards of Wakefield, North Reading, Woodward, Linfield, Stone, and Wilmington. Testimony given before this board is taken under the order, so if you think you may wish to speak, please stand and raise your hand. And she's an abstention, but we'll take her <laughs> anyways. Uh, I swear the testimony given before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Thank you. We spoke to two people. We did. <laughs> um, so, you can make a quick summation of what you just talked about um, under a special permit now, um, requesting only a 10 foot uh, on top of the existing garage, which is the footprint. So, you want to go and take that through for us. Okay. So, yes, the existing garage, as I've mentioned, is, is fairly small, so we don't use it as a car garage. So getting rid of that is, is not a problem for us. Uh, building in that spot, like I said, makes the most sense to us visually and uh, just to remain within square footage because if, if we were to build outside of the garage, we would easily exceed 25% of the fire variance. Uh, you know, it's, it would just be additional living space in there, in the bottom, a, a mudroom and a bathroom and a den, and upstairs, a bedroom and a bathroom. I know this week. Is it coming now? Okay, so now we have both open up. We can talk about it a little bit more. Um, sorry, we started with you before. Um, I think you made comments, but you may want to make official comments on the on the special permit app. Yeah. Uh, when I read this whole thing, 11 and 12, I said, okay, they really want 11, but they'll settle for 12. That's that's what I drew from the, the dual submittal, okay? And uh, so, uh, and I think it did a, a heck of a job preparing for this thing. Uh, in fact, I thought when I saw 11.18-12, I thought you were basically you're basically negating the need for 11.18-11, okay? You basically wiped that one off the books when I read through it. Uh, I personally don't have a problem with a special permit at all, based on what you're proposing to do. You're not changing your <coughs> conformities, you're not creating a new one, and uh, I frankly don't have any problem with it at all. Uh, yeah, I, I'm much more comfortable with the special permit here in as the town uh, bylaws do allow this 
type of uh, extension of existing construction uh, with uh, a special permit uh, issued. And the special permit is cognizant on that the addition in the zoning board's opinion will not be more detrimental to the neighborhood than what's already there. And I, d I don't consider it in this particular case that it would be uh, much more detrimental than uh, what's existing there. So I, I, could, I could support the uh, special permit in this case. Okay. So I mean, unfortunately, your backyard uh, has some elevation changes and well, it's called character. But fortunately, as John mentioned, you know, you already are in pretty, pretty good into the 15 foot side setback. Um, so you wouldn't have to get a variance to build for this proposal, uh, but you can build on you know a 10 foot garage uh, width, um, and I, I think you did put a really good application together, and the plans are really easy to read, and everything's presented well, and I wouldn't have a problem with this. Okay, um, you're under the uh, building coverage. The 25 percent, which yep. is great. Uh, so that portion of it, I mean, the whole neighborhood is tight to begin with, extremely tight. Mm. Um, and the fact that you have good neighbors, that's good. Uh, I think the problem that this board has with variances, at least I have as one member of the board, is once a variance is given, it's given well beyond your lifespan. It's for ever and ever that there are zoning regulations. So it's the next group of people who are owners. So you can't change it. Once a variance is there, it's almost impossible to get rid of it. Whereas a special permit, if something happens, um, you can come back and you can modify it. But with variances, you can. Uh, and I think because of the way you presented it, your needs, um, it's a very small lot in comparison to some of the other lots on the street in the neighborhood. So I, like the rest of the board, uh, do not have a problem supporting <coughs> the, uh, the construction, uh, removal of the garage and the construction of the footprint of the garage, which is the 10 feet wide, um, as the plan indicated to you. So that's just my comment. And since there's nobody in the neighborhood to, to address the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, except we had the two letters there. <laughs> which, which were right in, well, well yeah. indications were there. <laughs> Both support, so not a problem. Um, do I hear a, uh, a motion on this particular? I could make one. Okay. Uh, I would move to grant the petitioner, Michael Crocker, Special permit under zoning bylaws, zoning bylaw sections 7.0, 7.3, and 7.3.2 to remove an existing non conforming garage and construct a new 10 by 26 foot two story living space with a non conforming side yard setback on the uh, on the property located at 15 Longfellow Road in Reading in accordance with the plot plan proposed addition and check my dates here guys yeah dated 6 7 18 mm -hmm. and architectural review drawing dated drawings dated 5 24 18 and four plan floor plans dated 5 31 18 subject to the following conditions if I can find them here do, 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 do. Number one, the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector a certified plot plan of the proposed construction and a proposed foundation plan prior to the issuance of a foundation permit for the work. Two, the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector final construction plans for the proposed structure along with the as-built foundation plan for that structure prior to the issuance of a building permit. And three, the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector as-built plans of the new structure prior to the issuance of an occupancy permit. Here, here, 
Second. Um, so I, uh, the on the architectural, which ones did you uh, want included? Uh, I would say the architectural drawings that were submitted with the application because they did not change. So they were uh, they were uh, 11, 11 different uh, views of that. And, and what you cited is uh, for the, the drawings. Yes. And they were all dated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is not 11 of them in the set, though. No, there's no, only so uh, one through six included in the application. Yeah, okay. uh, that's fine. All dated 524. And yeah. then the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, seven, seven, actually, nine, seven, 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 eight, nine, and ten are missing. But, right. Uh, one through six and number 11. 11. In general performance of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the rest of those are. And then the floor plan is sure, yes. a different plan. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 first. So I think you covered it that was submitted with the application. Right. Okay. right. Any other comments? Hearing none, I think a vote. All in favor? Let it show 400. So you have your special permit. Um, there is a 20-day waiting period. Um, you can check with it takes 14 days or we have up until 14 days to write it and get it in. And then you can keep checking with um, Kim. I can be Kim. Uh, Kristen. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Kristen will, will know when they're in and she might even give you a call when they're in. Uh, then you can come in. I need to stamp two sets of these plans, which I'll do right now. One of which I'll give back to you, and the other one I'll put in the box. In the, in the meantime, don't forget we still have a hearing open on the variance. Thank you. Now, now, if you want to uh, withdraw your petition under section under uh, case number um, 18 11. 18 11. Yes, we like to. Okay, motion to accept. Uh, I'll, I'll make a motion that we accept the applicant's request to withdraw his application without prejudice uh, for a variance in case number 18 11. Second. All in favor? So that's what you're um, Without prejudice means that uh, basically it's all over. Should something happen later on down the road yeah. so we can come back? If you, if you decide it's six months from now that, you know, geez, really, I would have liked that variance. Let's go take our chances with it. You can do it. Whereas if we had denied it, you would have had to wait two years, as John yeah. says. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully we won't see that. But. Um, did you want an extra set of plans, John? Do you need an extra set? My side probably needs his if he's going to write yes, it out. Yes, I'll take the one that I have and stamp that and stamp the one that's in the Okay. Um, yep. So we should write up the... Uh, Variance withdrawal without prejudice. Do we have to do that? We could we could probably put the two together. Probably, probably put, put the two together? together. Yeah. yeah, I would say so. Okay. I'll do that. Do we have a working statement. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in that one. <laughs> Nothing in that one. No staples. Any staples over there? Nothing? I can hear you. Oh, is there a staple over there anywhere? Yep. Is there anything in Any it? Staples in it? Uh, find out. <laughs> Take your chances, you mean? Yeah. 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 My yeah. goodness gracious. <laughs> you must have brought it with you, Kristen. <laughs> you need it anymore? Uh, I think the other one is already stable. Oh, so. all right. Okay. 
this is your copies of what you submitted. Um, you can take that with you when you go and see the building inspector or whatever that to get all your permits. And then I have to do the same thing with the one that's here. Good luck. Do you have a contractor ready to go? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I can give it back though. Uh, yes. Oh, that's happened before. I've taken some votes. Yeah. No problem. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Yeah, I, I just I just noticed, Kristen, on uh, this? This is the yeah page two, you had the vote was taken four zero zero. Jerima, Redfern, Coet, and Hagstrom. So I think we need Nick in there, please. Page two. Uh, okay. And the same thing on the. Uh, Vote for the last item there. You had me in there at five zero zero, and it should be four zero zero. Sorry, what page was that one? And the same thing with the adjournment. Page four. Should be four zero zero, and I was not present. So. <laughs> okay. 
And then the, the only other thing I saw was it looked like on page two, in case 1809, one, two, three, fourth paragraph down, it, it starts off, Mr. Jarema, if they would like to proceed, I think asked if they would like to proceed with four members. So if you get asks in there. That's all I have, but, and I was in the air, but, but there may be additional ones from the members that were here. Here, that bump on page two. Page two, John, fourth paragraph, down from 1809. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It looked like asked if they would like to proceed. Gotcha. I think it should be one of the members that were here. That's right. Sorry? What? I move to accept the minutes of the uh, June 20 meeting uh, as modified. Second. I'll second that. In favor? Okay. Tonight's meeting was being recorded for RCTV <laughs> live. Okay. As you should have said, uh, on channel 22 of Verizon, channel 33. The videographer for tonight's meeting is Niles. Uh, check with www.rctv.org for information and for replay time. I just had one other. Uh, I have one other two, but go ahead. Uh, order of business. Uh, we need to. Uh, uh, reform the board, uh, but there's only four of us present. Uh, do we wait for um, Eric to come back? I think so. I think it would be wise in this case because we only have you know, uh, five or down. Yeah. So I, I, I really thought we'd be able to do it tonight, but. And you can't do it 15, either. I know. Uh, and we're meeting when uh, well, it be when? <laughs> actually, it would be uh, October. Well, I don't really want to get involved in the middle of uh, right. 30B. Right. So it would have to be October. That's what right. Mean? I know you don't want to do it in October. Well, I'm we, sorry, what was it? Well, you guys we, were looking? We may have another meeting in September other than the 40B. Oh, well, wait a second. We have the 15th coming up. Oh, well, no. no. He can't. Yeah. August 15th. Sorry, oh, August, so we'll be here on August 15th. August 15th. Maybe he's talking about September 15th. 15th, I think. But September, well, Sep when is our uh, 40B in September? September 5th. And you can't meet on the 19th, so you could elect to meet on the 26th or the wow, 12th. A town meeting on the 19th? Is it's a yeah. holiday. Holiday. The 19th. Oh. What's the holiday? Yom Kippur. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, well, we, let's could, we could do it on the 20th or 30th. We can get vote to meet right. on Thursday instead of Wednesday of that week. Yeah. Okay. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay. Um, that. As long as is the is this room available on the twentieth? I would imagine. So. Actually, we don't even have to meet in this room. Right. Right. We could meet in one of the other rooms, or we could meet in the uh, so, the, uh, the burger room. Right. If we're just gonna if we're just do gonna that, do that, we, we don't know. There could be a case come in. Yeah. Yeah. Might, I'm not sure if it's a major or minor. Because right. So just to throw it out there, my calendar says the 20th is a holiday called Ashura. I don't know if that's a major holiday or not. You might still be able to meet. Um, 
but I'll have the to. The twentieth is what? What day of the week? It's a Thursday. Thursday again. Uh, 20th of which? which September. Month? September. Okay. How does that look? I mean, we haven't talked about it. Is town all closed on Yom Kippur? No. no not so. that I am aware of. Well, they close, they close at what? 5.30 normally. Because yeah. there's no more meetings on the... Is there, yeah, well, I mean, we've never had an issue with that before. It's not a... Yeah, we like can't a have national meetings. Holiday. You just can't yeah, have yeah, meetings, I believe, on a major holiday. So that's where the issue comes from. Well, we can meet on the 20th and post it. Right. Um, yeah. Right. That's the thing. If, if you check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just double check and see if we need to... Mm -hmm. Go to the twentieth instead of the nineteenth. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm uh, willing to go to the twentieth. Okay. You also yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm gonna check that out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll double check with yeah. Gene about the holiday thing tomorrow. Yeah. See. See if we have to. I promise. Right. right. Okay. And if not, we'll keep the nineteenth. But if okay. they prefer that we move it. Mm -hmm. I said we go to the twentieth, yeah. and that way we, just, we can take care of business, <laughs> and then all hopefully, if any cases come in, we might even hear those that way. Right. Which would be a backup too, because we don't. Know, I mean, these are the busiest months. Yeah, it's hard right to so. wait till October. Yeah, and we don't know what else is out there. Right. So. Okay. Sorry. I think we need to since we just continued two cases to the 15th of August. I think we need to get a commitment from Eric and our newcomer well, to Eric, be there on the 15th of okay. August. And okay. if we right. find that out tomorrow that they're, one of them can't be there, then you're stuck with the four again. Yeah, right. And I think we have an obligation to maybe tell them. Right. I don't know. Um, well, or Eric you told you all show up that night again and you continue with well, another time. Well, it would be good, I think, now, it, it seems like we ran into some issues, because I, 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 I told the board at least a couple times when we had meetings that I was going to be out the 20th. And I started to view it, and I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get the volume. But just at the beginning, I got a little bit of it, and I heard John say, well, we're waiting for another member. Jeez, <laughs> 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 I know I told everybody I wasn't going to talk to them. I, I drove home when I'm driving home. I says, he's on vacation. That's why I thought of it. So it, it, I would suggest that if you're going to be out, like Sai announced tonight, the 15th, let Kristen know. And Kristen, if you can yeah, put it on the log for that yeah. night. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. He's going to be out. And maybe the, the week, you know, when you send out the agenda, you send that out to everybody. Mm -hmm. and just note. When that agenda comes out, what, two or three days ahead of the meeting or something? No, no who's not going to be there? Mm. Well, you're usually sending it out the Wednesday or Thursday the week before. Yeah. Um, so you're almost a week ahead of time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but in and instances like tonight, there's um, the child care issue. Last and then, minute. Yeah. yeah. And then um, the schedule. Now, if you're in trouble. Yeah. You could arrange to send a limo to pick me up and leave <laughs> and, drive me back, <laughs> and drive me back again. Okay. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm, 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 I'm sure. I'm sure the town manager would opt to go <laughs> get, get you a helicopter ride <laughs> down and back. <laughs> uh, I spoke briefly at the 40B to uh, our new person now, Kyle. 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 Huh? Kyle. 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 Um, and I told him that, you know, the meat and potatoes of the board in you know, all these individual meetings, it just happens that occasionally we have these big projects coming, but you need to come. So maybe I didn't get that through, and maybe he did have an emergency, but could we get a hold of him and it, he explain said after today he should be all set. Okay, great. Yeah. Yep, great. Okay. Any, any other business before the board this evening? No. Actually, it was, it was a bad night. No, 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 no. no. I had real concerns about a couple of them. I did. I thought we would be here until 11.30, 12 o'clock. <laughs> well, I suspect that the, the, the gentleman on Longfellow Road, is, he's not going to get it. He's not going to get it all done by the 
two weeks. I, I just it's, it's going to be very difficult. I think. I um, might advise him he wants to build to the same footprint, so if this will work for that, then that would he <coughs> might be able to right. do five yeah, that eight, would, So That would get him in the door, I, I, I think, with mm -hmm. Glenn. Glenn right. will make a mm -hmm. substantial, right. I mean, that, I, I got out of the car and walked around the property well, twice, and I said, this needs substantial I mean you couldn't build on any yeah. of the foundation hmm. yeah. foundation has to be replaced right. but what Glenn I building on the footprint uh, establishing the footprint and all the rest of it that Glenn does mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that right and they and it, we're allowed or I should say zoning allows us to do that so right so. and they get him out of having to come back before us exactly so it may, it may. I mean I realistically <coughs> Every time we seem to build or rebuild something, we're building large edifices here, and we don't, as much as we need some smaller ones, and that would be a perfect spot for a smaller one. It would fit the neighborhood right. and everything else. I mean, that would be great. And the reality is that a lot of that is needed. Mm -hmm. so. Anything else before the board? Nothing? No. Nope. Except the motion for adjourn. So moved. We're here second. Mm-hmm. So favor? We are adjourned. All right.